Today, tensions between China and the U.S. ramped up when Secretary of State Mike Pompeo tweeted about the 30th anniversary of Tiananmen Square. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs called his remarks babbling nonsense. And Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Freeland this afternoon issued her own statement saying the struggle for basic freedoms continues for human rights defenders in China. China's ambassador to Canada, Lu She, has described relations between the two countries as at a freezing point following the arrest of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou on a U.S. extradition request. Ambassador Liu joins us from the Chinese embassy in Ottawa. Uh, Ambassador, the U.S. trade representative said today that China is backpedaling on commitments already made in trade negotiations and playing a blame game with public statements that they have made. Uh, these negotiations seem to be getting worse and not better. How is this ultimately going to be resolved? Uh, in effect, uh, it is not China uh, who uh, is uh, backtracking. It, is, it was uh, the U.S. You know, uh, since the uh, taking office in 2017, the actual U U.S. administration uh, take, uh, take uh, measures, to, measures to his major trading partner. And uh, last year, in, in March, uh, when China and U.S. begin their first uh, negotiation about uh, trade, uh, the both sides, uh, both sides uh, uh, reach a consensus to not to start a trade war. But uh, some days uh, after, the U.S. government unveiled the so-called report on Section 301 investigation on China, falsely accusing China of IP theft and the false technology transfer, and uh, subsequently announced an additional tariff of 25% uh, on 50 billion U.S. dollars of Chinese goods. Uh, export to the U.S. This is the first time uh, of uh, uh, the U.S. backtracking. And the second time, uh, on May 19, uh, 2018, uh, China and the U.S. issued a joint statement agreeing to refrain of fighting a trade war and continue high-level communication. Uh, to active, uh, to actively seek uh, uh, solutions to respective economic and the trade uh, concerns. But, and but the that, U.S. But publicly uh, announced... Uh, Ambassador, I don't mean to cut you off, but, right? but, but I mean, that, that process does not seem to be going very well, and yet your, your primary dispute here is with the United States, and until the arrest of Ms. Meng from Huawei, Canada had very good relations with China. We were exploring free trade talks, and now the relationship, as you have said recently, has hit rock bottom simply because Canada honored our treaty obligations with the U.S. Why retaliate against Canada? You know, uh, the first time uh, uh, on May uh, last, last year, the U.S. Uh, made a uh, second backtrack, backtracking. And the last one is uh, recently. So we, we can see uh, the, the U.S. side uh, have made uh, uh, backtracking three times, not uh, China. Mm. About uh, the relations of uh, uh, Huawei, uh, Meng Wanzhou, uh, Meng Wanzhou, Mrs. Meng Wanzhou, Huawei, and the China-U.S. Uh, uh, trade uh, friction, I think uh, there is some uh, relations, some links, because uh, the U.S. side use uh, uh, suppressing Huawei and arresting Meng Wan, Madame, uh, Mrs. Meng Wanzhou to, to, to launch, to wage a trade war against China, because uh, Huawei is the, the uh, the most uh, famous uh, high technology enterprises of China. And uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, try to uh, hinder, to 
to obstruct China's uh, high-tech development. But, but we seem to be caught in the middle yes. of this dispute between you and the United States. Uh, our foreign minister is now frustrated by her Chinese counterpart's refusal to even discuss the cases, of, which are very important to us, that of the two detained Canadians. Why won't your government engage with her on their release? Uh, we are also sad to, uh, on the, the current situation of bilateral relations. But uh, China is not uh, root cause uh, of this situation. We often say that uh, the knots should be untied by those who got them tied. And China is always uh, uh, ready to, to, to work together with the Canadian side and uh, meet uh, uh, each other uh, halfway to, to, look, to, to look forward to a tangible solution of this problem. But, but China continues to retaliate against us uh, using trade tools. It was reports today that China is increasing the inspection of Canadian meat products entering China. This looks like very clearly further retaliation. Why is China escalating this way through trade? It is not a retaliation. China, uh, China, a Chinese side uh, move always in accordance with the law. For example, for uh, uh, Canada export uh, products, China, Chinese uh, competent uh, authorities uh, take measures always uh, according to the law and uh, on basis of scientific uh, uh, approach. Right. Uh, Canada, as you know, was facing a lot of pressure from the United States to ban Huawei technology from our 5G cellular networks over fears of espionage. Why should we trust Huawei technology? I think uh, the American allegation on Huawei's uh, national security threat uh, is uh, unfounded, is uh, uh, baseless, is baseless. Hmm. And uh, Huawei have existed uh, in Canada for more than 10 years and uh, never posed national security uh, threats. Uh, everyone know that, and uh, some uh, te uh, telecoms uh, careers, uh, carriers uh, of Canada used and uh, uh, are using still uh, Huawei equipment, and uh, that uh, didn't uh, pose any problem. So I, I think uh, uh, the Canadian side should take a position uh, on their own, uh, uh, from their own interests. Uh, I think uh, uh, Canada is an independent uh, country and uh, you have, uh, you have uh, institutions very competent uh, to, to evaluate this problem. Mm. And I, I, look, uh, I, I remarked that uh, several important major countries in the world have taken uh, a right, correct position on this problem. Mm. Uh, finally, Ambassador... And Huawei's technology is advanced in the world. Yeah, finally, Ambassador, before I let you go, I, I want to ask you about the anniversary of the killing of pro-democracy demonstrators in Tiananmen Square, a very dark period in China's history. Why can't China acknowledge that this was a terrible mistake that continues to damage your country's reputation around the world. The Chinese government has already drawn a clear conclusion on the political disturbance in the late 1980s. The great achievements we made in the past 70 years since the establishment of the People's Republic of China have spoke a volume that we chose the right development path and it is endorsed by our people. The Chinese people will 
continue to advance along the path of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Ambassador Liu, uh, thank That's you. That's our position. All right. Ambassador Liu, uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for joining us today.